Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Today it's just after six, it's quarter past six. Today's plan is to chase uh, Spanish. I've got some frozen herring that I collected a few weeks ago now. I've got a couple bags of that that I'll use for burley. And I'm gonna, I've got the cast net in, I'll try and get some fresh ones as well. Yeah, so we'll do that straight up and I'm just gonna, I'll do a few dives to the bottom and just see what's around, but I'll um, more than likely just sort of hang in the water and I'm gonna put a line out out of the back of the boat because I am by myself and there is a fair bit of run today. It's a, uh, I think a 0.9 low coming from a five something high. So there'll be a bit of run. Um, nothing that I can't kick against, but so yeah, I'll see you at the ramp once we're in the water and we'll, you can see how crap I am at throwing a cast net. We'll try and um, get some airing. Right up. I had a few throws of the cast net. I got a few herring on the first cast, then the next few I didn't get very many, so I started heading out. Alright, I'm geared up. It's uh, just after 7 o'clock now. I've got a little pressure point, um, just probably 200 metres from here. I'm gonna go sit out there, throw a bit of burley around. I'll put the bait out past it. I'm gonna put a rope out behind the boat. Um, so the rope sort of sits somewhere near the pressure point and I'll just come up to the boat and throw out, you know, half a dozen herring. I'll throw them right up in front of the boat so they can sort of sink down and I'll just continue doing that for, um, for an hour or so. I've got my little throw flashes. I'll just stick one of them up in my wetsuit and I'll just pull it out and throw it around. And, Make a bit of noise and see if something comes in. Righto, see you in the water. This looks not too bad in here, so it's, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad out there. You can see I'm still holding onto the rope. I breathe up and head down. I find a good spot to sit on the bottom. You can see all the little particles in the water. You can see how quick the current's moving as well. I just sit and wait. I've had a few Spanish now just come up beside me and sort of try and sneak past. I noticed this one and I estimated it to be about 20 kilo when I was underwater. I start chasing it and I actually get pretty close to it. Then I notice a bigger one out to the left. I got a good mid body shot and it ran hard. Now what's important to note here is this fish was running hard down current. So the further it went, the further I had to swim to get back to the boat and swim up current to get there. I did this for a while just swimming alongside the float and I slowly started working my way down the float line back towards the gun. From here, it looked like a really good holding shot. I thought I just had the fish in the bag. I played it for a little while, got it closer. And then this happened. The spear pulled through. Still in the fish, but pulled back a little bit. Went for another grab of the tail, and it was gone. As it swam away, I could see how big the fish was. I estimated it to be 25 to 30 kilo underwater. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that was so close, that was a big fish. Maybe if I had just played it for another few more minutes, I would have had a bit longer swim, but I might have had the fish. Yeah, you just never know. It 
just wasn't to be today. Very, very close to nailing it. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. It's still an amazing experience. I'll never forget that. That was incredible. Such a big fish. Yeah, today, same again, rinse and repeat. Um, this time, I won't go as hard on one if I do if I do manage to find another one. Yeah, last week the swim back it was a it was a long swim, but it wasn't hard and it didn't take all that long. Um, so maybe if I just played the fish for another five or ten minutes, I, I might have had it. So yeah, that's the plan today. Um, not as much current today, so yeah, I'm, I'm not too concerned if it tows me around a bit. Um, all right, let's get in the water and see if we can find one. So I jump in and I start with throwing a few herring around. I get a good trail of herring going and I start doing dives to the bottom. You can see I was getting bored, nothing much was happening and I was just sort of looking around and finding cool stuff. I felt something move across in front of the sun. There's a big school of fusilier. I have shot a Spanish before when I've been hanging around a big school of fusilier like this. So I did some dives directly towards a fusilier as if I was targeting them. And sometimes that brings a bigger Spanish in for a look. The fusilier is scattered and I just sit on the bottom and wait. That's when I see this guy swimming past. I take my shot, I go for that same mid-body shot. It's nowhere near the size of the fish that I lost, but still puts up a pretty good fight. I've edited quite a bit of this footage out. I just let it run for, felt like, probably five minutes before I started working my way down the float line very slowly and I noticed that it's a terrible shot and it's just held in by the tip of the spear and the flopper right down the bottom of the fish so I play it for a little bit longer and then I go for the tail grab I secure the fish, brain spike it, bleed it. It's a good feeling to get this one in the boat. Nothing like the one that I lost, but it was great to know that when the Spanish are around, I've got a little bit of a technique to get out there and get them. Please like and subscribe. It's free to subscribe and leave a comment down below. It really does make a big difference to promoting my videos. Cheers.